Heavily censored letters from prison. This has been the only contact in seven years between Ahmed Uld Abdel Aziz in Guantanamo Bay and his family in Mauritania. Now that the US is shutting the prison down, Abdel Aziz's brother and sister are hoping to win his release. We are waging a campaign for his freedom. We have a lot of support from Mauritanians. We're asking the authority to demand his repatriation. We're also asking for him to be returned as soon as possible, even before the closure of Guantanamo, to avoid him being transferred elsewhere. Abdelaziz was arrested in 2002 in Karachi, Pakistan. His family says he was living there with his wife and ran a mobile phone shop. But the U.S. accuses him of contacts with Osama bin Laden and other senior al-Qaeda figures, as well as fighting for the Taliban in Afghanistan. We found out about his arrest only eight months later, in February 2003, when we got a letter from the Red Cross telling us that he was being held in Guantanamo. Abdelaziz's fate remains unclear. Mauritania has so far made no moves to have him repatriated, and Guantanamo Bay prison is due to shut down next year. Meanwhile, someone who says he met Abdelaziz in prison warns his health is deteriorating fast. The first time I saw him, he looked healthy, he looked good. But he completely changed. When I saw him again in Guantanamo, he looked like a skeleton, a skeleton in an orange jumpsuit. It's a particularly painful time for Abdelaziz's son. Born shortly after the arrest, Mohammed has never seen his father.